Good morning students. Today I am starting a new chapter for you that is chapter number 2 that is elements and compounds. Children, you have learnt in your previous class that all the substances are made up of matter. And matter is anything that has mass and occupies space. This matter can be further classified into two groups, pure substances and impure substances or mixtures. Students, what are pure substances? Pure substances are those which are made up of only one kind of particles. Pure substances in chemistry are only elements and compounds. Elements because they are made up of only one kind of atoms and compounds because they are made up of same kind of molecules or fixed number of atoms of different elements. First, we will learn about elements and their properties. An element is a substance that cannot be broken down into simpler substances by any physical or ordinary chemical means. For example, gold. The smallest fragment of gold will have all the properties of gold. No further simpler substance can be made out of gold. Therefore, gold is an element. Similarly, we have iron, silver, oxygen, carbon, etc. as elements. There are total 118 elements known today. Elements are further divided into metals, non-metals, metalloids and noble gases. Now we are here to study about these categories of elements. First we have the properties of metals. Metals are usually hard solids. They have a characteristic shine or luster. Metals are good conductors of heat and electricity. That is why metals are used as utensils or electric wires. They have generally high melting point and boiling point. Some examples of metals are sodium, potassium, iron, zinc and magnesium. Next we have non-metals. Non-metals are either soft solids or gases. They are dull in appearance that is they do not possess shine or luster. Non-metals are poor conductors of heat and electricity. They have low melting point and boiling point. Some examples of non-metals are sulfur, oxygen, hydrogen, iodine and chlorine. The third category is metalloids. Metalloids are elements that have the properties of both metals and non-metals. Children here I would like to tell you that do not use the word mixture for metalloids as mixture of metals and non-metals because mixture in chemistry is an impure substance and metalloids are elements which are pure substances or we can call them as semi-metals. Some examples are silicon germanium, arsenic and antimony. They have an appearance that is similar to metals but they are less conductive than metals. They are more brittle than metals. Metalloids have non-metallic chemical properties in general. Next we have inert gases also known as noble gases or rare gases. These are the elements that do not react chemically with other elements. 
they have a full outer electron shell which makes these elements non reactive there are seven noble gas elements helium neon argon krypton xenon radon and organoson noble gases are the least reactive chemical elements now our next topic is symbols that is symbols of elements the symbol of an element is a single letter or two letter abbreviation that is short form of its full name the concept of using these symbols was introduced by j j berzelius nowadays iupac that is international union of pure and applied chemistry approves the names and symbols of new elements the symbols are either the first capital letter of the name of an element for example hydrogen is represented as h or first and second letter of the name of the element such as ca for calcium here c is capital and a is the small letter and we can also have the latin names of the elements for example iron the latin name is ferrum and the symbol is fe next is sodium latin name is natrium and the symbol is na we will be writing and learning the first 20 elements of the periodic table in our notebooks you will do this work in the worksheet that will follow after this video children why do we have the symbols or what is the significance of writing symbols of the elements so the symbol of an element represents the name of the element and one atom of the element for example the symbol c stands for the element carbon and one atom of the element carbon now here we have the first 20 elements of the periodic table but what is periodic table children periodic table shows a systematic arrangement of all the elements in a tabular form now here is the arrangement of these elements 1 to 20 elements written here in proper order of their atomic number you have to copy this list exactly like this in your notebook be very careful in writing the symbols the first letter should be capital and the second letter should be small letter for example hydrogen is represented as h but helium is h capital and e small lithium is l capital and i small so you have to be very careful in writing these symbols in your notebook here we come to the end of our first lecture of this chapter thank you